Welcome to Art Making Beyond Wu. My name is Jason, and I'll be sharing various parts of my art making with you. I do hope you'll enjoy, and uh, although I think a lot of it is mostly about getting into these realms of play, just taking a look here at my uh, week to week last thing I did, falling back into that space that embraces the exploration of the art making of just trying to figure out what to do next or how to bring these ideas that are on the inside you know out more not standing in the way of them so much at least that's kind of the way i've been approaching it it's easy to go down deep into all these like psychological healthy habits mental constructs which is yeah totally valid it's absolutely powerful but um, I think as artists, we can really, uh, we have a tendency to overthink. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure a lot of people relate to that. The overthinking and just the comparison unconsciously, right? Because uh, if you're always comparing yourself to something else, then you're not really, it, I mean, yeah, truly, you're not being there for you in your own art making allowing more uh, that freedom to play and to feel like the child feels so silly but it's like uh, it really is a critical part of making progress something I've incorporated into my process for me it's all about building up layers really so the first few passes of a painting need to not be uh, you know, anything composition or whatever, just laying down color. So when I'm starting out with these paintings, I'm really not thinking much of any, uh, anything. Like, there's no expectation. It's, it's about pushing it beyond something that I would like, just so that I won't attach emotionally to it, really. Uh, at least up front, earlier on. That's really the best way to go about it, is just approaching each painting wherever it's at, just where it's at. Instead of, you know, I, I would struggle earlier on because I would have an idea. You know, you're trying some things out, and an hour or two go by, and it didn't really go anywhere. And then you come back to it days later or whatever, and it's like, you're trying to chase that same thing down, but that thing has already done come and gone, so... You're really just chasing your tail. Uh, that's a rough one, but I definitely found myself in that for a while. Uh, that kind of a pattern. And so, yeah, the preventing the, the chasing the tail and just not being as comfortable with how the paintings would resolve while I was working on them. And that's mostly what it was. It was just me trying to resolve it back to something that I was trying to do instead of just working with it from where it is now. And, uh, yeah, these are great teachings that I've learned from these other artists who are online who are awesome, like Judy Woods and Nicholas Wilton, um, Pamela Coey. Like, you guys should be checking out all these artists because they are, they are legit awesome. Uh, so much valuable information that they're sharing. So, yeah, the letting go of all these notions. Yeah, it's a, it's a sticky trap of needing it to be right for other people's approval and all that kind of stuff. Something that was influencing how I felt or thought about the work I was doing. These are all, uh, you know, helpful hints for those of us on our journey trying to figure it out. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. I'm um, really just kind of sharing uh, the work that I'm in at the moment and the little things I'm learning along the way. Uh, but yeah, if you found this helpful, uh, please do like and subscribe. You can check out more at, at the website. The link is below. But yeah, building everything up. All right, you guys have a great day and cheers to the art making.